Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig, and today I got a special video because we are checking out a belt. But it's not just any belt, it's a 14 ounce natural veg tan solution belt from Nobleman's Apothecary. Let's get into it. Old boots got soul, and I carry on this way and we get better. Mr. Angel Rios, who is the chief nobleman of Nobleman's Apothecary, reached out to me and said, Hey, Jeremiah, I would really like you to try one of these belts on your channel because I believe so much in this product. And I was looking at his Instagram and his website, and he is on point with all of his products and his content. I'm just going to say right now that you should follow Nobleman's Apothecary on Instagram because every day, he is on point with his content. So link in the description. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's see what we got. This is the natural veg tan solution belt. We have other things in here as well. Ooh, it smells great. This whole thing, it smells really good. Jeez, this is a beautiful belt. Natural veg tan leather. I love the look of natural veg tan. And this is the rough outside which is on the outside which will help prevent scuffs and cuts and things like that and also develop a really nice patina over time but this 14 ounce natural veg tan leather is really nice like it is thick and he has rounded the edges here so beautifully this is really nice and I really like the logo which he put in the end here, that X for the Nobleman's Apothecary logo is real classy. This beveled look on the side is just is spectacular. That's an attention to detail that you don't usually see on a lot of belts. Sometimes they just sew it and call it a day. But this is one piece of leather that is beveled all the way around to give it a nice rounded look. And wow, guys. It is classy, and it has American brass. I believe I asked for the American brass. It is said to come with Japanese brass on the website, but I'm sure that if you wanted American brass, you could ask for that from Angel himself. And it is held on here by screw rivets, so it's not one of the easy snap kind of style where you can easily change out into a belt buckle but it looks like you could take this buckle off and add another one on here, like say a Jeremiah Craig belt buckle like this if you wanted to. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna try it with this buckle first and then I may switch it out because I'm not really a huge fan of these kinds of belt buckles. I prefer my own removable belt buckles as I'm sure several of you out there do as well. If not, then this is a really nice solid brass hardware buckle here. I'm really excited about trying this belt on, but I wanna see what else we got. We got the sticker for No Man's Apothecary here. Huge sticker fan right here. Love the stickers. Of course, we got the key fob with the Nobleman's grid on here as well. And what do we have in here? Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, it's a little jar of leather scraps, which also have essential oils, I'm told, that are made in Arizona. So you open it up and smell. Oh man, it smells good. It smells like a new pair of boots, but also like molasses at the same time. Wow, whoo, that smells good. These are apparently scraps from this belt right here. And oh yeah, it says uh, desktop smell good essential oils here on the back. It says open up and enjoy. And this is handwritten by the way. So a really nice human touch from Angel, the chief nobleman from Nobleman's Apothecary. Now let's try this belt on. I was about to say boots because we usually look at boots on this channel. Let's try this belt on and see how it fits and feels. First thing I noticed when putting this belt on was the rough out. Love the rough out. Completely different from any other belt that I have. And it's going to develop such a great patina. It's also really thick. 
I just measured it. It comes in at around a quarter of an inch thick. So we have one and a half inches this way, a quarter of an inch this way. So it is pretty thick and the buckle here kind of sticks out quite a bit because you have those three layers in the belt right there just stacked on each other. So it's not that big of a deal and I'm sure it will break in as I wear it and sort of shrink down a little bit. But that's something that I'm noticing right now is that it does come pretty far out when you're wearing it. But it is 14 ounce natural veg tan leather. So that's something that you gotta expect. It will break in eventually. He did a great job with this. I think that this is a really classy look. As you can see, let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm gonna switch out this belt buckle real quick, see how easy it is to switch it out for my belt buckle and to see also what it looks like with a different belt buckle, sort of the Western style belt buckle that I wear every single day. All right, so I successfully swapped out the buckles for one of mine, which you guys could easily do if you had a belt buckle that you wanted to swap out as well. The screws did make it pretty easy. Um, it's just not gonna be as fast to swap out as some of those snap button belts that you may have in your belt collection. Still, I think this looks great. It works very well. The holes are a little bit big for some belt buckles like this one can kind of easily pop out um, if you happen to be sitting and then stand back up sometimes belt buckles flop out and become unattached however if you did have one with a nice hook this would be perfect for that as well but I'm a huge fan of this belt and I'm gonna wear it this week just to see if I get anything else from it but I think I'm pretty much done so there might only be like 30 seconds left in this video um, this is a great quality belt love the beveling on the sides it's just spectacular like you guys got to look at Noldman Apothecary all the links to social and the website are in the description let's see what happens but I got a good feeling I'm gonna enjoy wearing this for the rest of the week. All right, so quick update after wearing this Nobleman Apothecary Zolution belt for about a week or more. Really like the weight of it and the rough out nature of it, feels great. Although one thing that I noticed is that the light color of it, the natural tan, does take stains a little bit more. In fact, on some jeans that are a little bit more of a deeper blue, I've noticed that it does sort of run onto the belt a little bit here on the sides where it goes through the belt loops, but that is, I guess, part of this belt. It's going to develop a patina and become more of a personality piece, depending on how you wear it, uh, than maybe some of the other belts from Nobleman's Apothecary. So I like that feature and how this will develop a patina and its own personality over time. Um, but that's just my preference. They do have other colors and uh, options that don't feature the rough out and natural tanning on the outside. I just went with this because I liked the idea of this light of a belt and also the rough out nature of it. I thought it was really, really cool. Angel has set me up with a special promotion code for you guys to save 10% on your order, but there's only like 10 of them so the first 10 people to use the code JCM10 at checkout on Nobleman's Apothecary website will get 10% off this belt which is a nice savings I believe they go for just over a hundred dollars depending on which belt you get so you could definitely save a good chunk of change whether it be 10 to 12 dollars depending on which belt you get or any of the other awesome leather products that are on Nobleman's Apothecary website. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you around. Peace everybody, have a good one. Nobleman's Apothecary has got quite a touch. These leather products can mean so much and they'll last for decades while personality never fades. Oh no no. 
thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Check out all the links to Nobleman's Apothecary at the links in the description. And I'll see you next time. I'll see you next time.